National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi there, I'm naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty, a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. One thing I encounter in my office on an almost daily basis are conditions of malabsorption. Malabsorption conditions uh, can be caused by a variety of different diseases, but the key sort of underlying pathology there is the inability of the body to properly absorb the nutrients out of the diet. Why this is so important is that nutrients are the basic molecules required to support and sustain life in the absence of disease. Therefore, if you suffer from malabsorption, you're almost guaranteed to have some level of nutrient deficiency and any amount of nutrient deficiency by definition translates into some sort of disease or pathology starting. So that's how disease happens is you get, you don't, your body doesn't have the nutrients it needs to function normally and you get a breakdown in the normal balance of the body and a disease state will take hold. So depending on the nutrient that's deficient, that's going to determine the type of disease that you exhibit. If there's an impairment in the ability of, let's say, iron absorption, you may be more prone to anemia. If it's a B12 absorption, it may be a different version of anemia called pernicious anemia, not just characterized by the fatigue you see in an iron deficient anemia, but often by a tremor. So the hand will actually tremor a little bit uh, and that can be irreversible if not treated early. Uh, other types of uh, deficiency symptoms that you'll see, uh, depression and seasonal affective disorder, often related to vitamin D deficiencies. Uh, omega-3 fatty acid or EFA deficiencies, essential fatty acid deficiencies, often result in increased inflammation. It can cause uh, trouble with cognition, it can cause eye problems. So as you see, malabsorption syndromes you know, they often don't get a lot of attention medically, but they're very, very severe conditions because they lead to nutrient deficiencies. And, you know, I don't care how advanced a medication you have or, you know, how great your doctor is, if they're not addressing nutrient deficiencies uh, and the reason behind that, you're not going to see lifelong sustainable health because, you know, as much as you can use all these modern advances in medicine to compensate for symptoms, the underlying cause of the symptom may be as simple as this deficiency state. And the only way to truly cure that is to repair the deficiency. And in order to repair the deficiency, you often have to repair the malabsorption. So malabsorption can occur because of a number of things. It could be as simple as lactose intolerance, in which case the lactose intolerance, the, la the excess of lactose in the diet, uh, where the body can't break it down, causes uh, reduced transit time. So the food doesn't sit in your digestive tract long enough to be digested so the nutrients can be uh, released and be absorbed. That'll really uh, cause malabsorption syndrome. As well, any type of inflammatory condition of the bowels is gonna lead to malabsorption. Inflammation interferes with the normal function of the gut cells. It can decrease stomach acid production. It can decrease the enzymes needed to properly digest and release the foods. It will cause changes in the normal probiotics or the normal bacteria that live in the gut and activate many nutrients. And this will lead to inability of our body to properly digest our food and properly release and then absorb our nutrients. And so all of these things lead to a disease state. So if you suffer from any type of you know, chronic nutrient deficiency or what we call a malabsorption syndrome, really look at the underlying cause because by treating that, you can in return your body to normal absorption, normal digestion, a normal nutrient state or an adequate nutrient state, and that will get rid of your disease symptoms. So if you like this video, please check out more of the natural health videos on our channel, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, post them below. And as always, remember, knowledge is health.